Hello to everybody and welcome to a webinar about detecting railroad tracks from airborne data. First, let's look into the tools, uh, what TerraScan can suggest for railroad processing. The tools in the railroad toolbox are used to place lines, to fit lines to classified points along rails, to find rails and overhead wires automatically, and to check endpoints of, of overhead wires. Here you can see some examples of tools used. With the existing Terrascan tools, main classes are classified as a ground, wires and danger trees. The danger trees trunks are drawn on their own level in the design file. The side obstacles are classified. Um, here you can see missing track ballast can be computed from the laser data. Also control cabinet vectorized and uh, wires automatically detected. Uh, most of the tools uh, are intended to be used with dense point clouds of high positional accuracy. Such point clouds are usually produced by mobile laser scanning systems. And here you can see the example of find rails uh, tool applied on the mobile data. Until now, it was the only possibility to use this tool with the mobile data. But since uh, the latest versions of TerraScan, the new option was developed for airborne data. Now there is also possibility to use it. So what's new? Uh, the additional option was added to find using setting and vectors can be placed based on rail top hits. Uh, before, the only option was uh, to detect rails using uh, rail sections, and the software was looking at consecutive cross sections of laser data along the alignment element. For each cross section, it tries to find the position where a user defined cross section profile of the track matches the best um, number of laser points. Now the top points on track should be pre-classified and later used for finding rails. One more option for defining which point to keep in each group of points uh, introduced in a thinning routine. This helps to separate rail top hits from other points and it can be used in further steps to vectorize rails. So in this screenshot you can see that uh, the rail top points uh, were kept according to the distance from ground and the lower was uh, classified into another class, not the potential rail tracks. Another new tool is in Theromodeler, which can be dedicated also for uh, vectorizing rails from airborne data. It is named the smoothen linear element, and this helps to smoothen detected ve vectors of railroad tracks. Uh, now, after a short presentation of new tools, uh, we can move to demo of automatic vectorization based on airborne data. And the proposed workflow is to do first the pre-classification, uh, do the extraction of potential rail top hits, uh, then use find rails uh, routine, and as a last step, to smooth the lines.
So here I will jump to the demo video. In the beginning, you can see a quick view into the data. Uh, the rails were scanned and the data was collected by Airborne. Uh, the first classification is to extract uh, the uh, medium vegetation, which will be used for the further classification. So in the beginning, distance computation, and then everything what is at least 10 centimeters above ground goes to medium vegetation then higher points into high vegetation class. And in this step, points are distributed into several levels. We will concentrate into medium vegetation class and from those points, rail hits should be uh, found. At the moment, um, you can see that this class has uh, some surrounding vegetation, uh, which in uh, further steps should be removed from that class. Also, from the railway hit, better to have the highest hit. And uh, from uh, uh, the airborne data, uh, the shape of rails is not so visible as from mobile data. So as I mentioned, the highest local points would uh, describe the best, uh, the location of rays. Um, the second macro is uh, to, uh, to exclude unnecessary points of bad potential rails class. And in the beginning to do a classification around the center lines. In this case, uh, the, the guidance vectors would uh, play a center line role. And now after the first uh, line in macro, you can see the yellow points were classified around those railway guidance lines. And this yellow, the track area class, will be used uh, for the detecting rates. Uh, the next steps, uh, excluding some points by close by logic, if the point is too close to the ground or uh, to, to other vegetation classes. And then the final step in this uh, potential class uh, extraction is uh, thinning points. Uh, as I mentioned in presentation, there is also a new option in thinning points to keep the, the highest point. And in the cross section at the moment, you can see the tracks of the rail. And at the moment, all track is classified into that track class. The thin point routine should keep just uh, the highest points. Um, so from class track area, uh, points would be classified back to the vegetation if uh, uh, by biggest distance um, there is another point which is higher. So the aim is to keep the locally highest point and then there is spacing 25 and 50 centimeters. If it gives something lower then it keeps the highest point. And this track area class, the yellow one, um, will be used uh, for actual uh, finding rates. Uh, the same um, line strings will be used as uh, guidance lines. 
which gives the general direction in which we have rails. And after selecting those line strings, uh, find rails uh, tool uh, can be started. Uh, so now there, there are two options in find rails. Um, there is a choice find using um, rail section. And as I mentioned from track area, now that detection will happen. So rail section is the previous tool of find rails for mobile data, where cross section shows the, uh, the shape of rails. Another option rail uh, top hits is a new and it is dedicated for uh, airborne data. You also need to specify uh, the track width. Uh, this is the central line on the top of a uh, rail track. Basically, it's a distance between two, two rails of the same uh, uh, railroad. Uh, minimum length uh, setting um, defines how short can be the, uh, the shortest vector section. And uh, the DZ um, uh, gives the ability to fix uh, uh, the elevation. If, for example, you have uh, control measurements and you see that there's a systematically shift uh, uh, two centimeters high or, or too low, then uh, the setting uh, can uh, um, drag the lines into the right elevation. Remove single rail vectors. Um, if there is no other matching vector in, uh, in that track width distance, so it, it tries to search um, uh, the, the second rail of the same road. And then um, find parallel to alignment uh, means that selected vectors give the general direction in which the result must run. Everything what is not running in approximately the same direction software will eliminate. So after clicking OK, uh, you can see the result. Um, just turn off the, the guidance line and the blue lines represents thematically uh, drawn vectors. Um, there's some false findings <clears throat> near rails if um, the dense vegetation on special terrain was detected or also in where the tracks merges. But on the straight, lines it does quite good detection also the uh, the result the vectors are in 3d so here in the section you can see that the vector goes along uh, the rail top hits points And then the final thing is to smooth those lines in Terra Modeler. So first select those. And then here, for example, you can see that the line is a bit wiggling. And it can be improved with Smoothen Linear Element tool.
uh, this is the new tool in the remodeler and it is good if vectors has many vertices. Uh, there is possibility to modify x, y, z of vertices and specify uh, how long span the software averages. So when the software computes the new location for vertex, for example, on the mount, uh, mouse location, it would look 20 meters forward, 20 meters backward along the vector and it calculates the new position of the new vertex. After accepting the changes, you can see the new uh, lines. Those are looking more straight and smoother. And after doing those uh, steps, this is the final result of uh, vectorized uh, uh, rails.